Good day, traders. This is Rich with some price action on the markets. Currently 4.18 p.m. January 29th, 2021. Friday, end of the month. The markets were down across the board. Except the stocks that I was watching today, they're pretty much green with high percentage gains. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, comment on the video, and let's get this thing going. So we had the NASDAQ down 266, the Dow 620, and the SPX 73. Pretty negative week, um, just negative times, really. I mean, we had the whole Robin Hood, Weeble, GameStop, short selling, hedge fund situation going on this week, and it's going to continue to go on next week, and so on and so forth. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about what's going to happen. I'm just going to focus on what I keep what I'm doing right now which is focus on my trading um, building a PC it's you know both for trading and business but I'm building it mainly for trading worst case scenarios are just going to come into your head over the weekend and I don't want them to for myself and for you you know are they going to take trading away from retail traders they're going to raise margin are they going to raise this are they going to tax that you know who knows what this, what's going to come out from all of this? Um, yeah, people lost a lot of money. So, are they going to defend those people that lost a mo- lot of money? Are they going to defend Robinhood right now? Um, I don't know. I can't think about that. So, my day, my week was, my month was great. My week was, eh. I ended the day down eighty bucks. I was up one hundred sixty. Gave it back on some stupid Tesla trades midday when it broke below 800 and um you know it, it's a sour end to the week and month but no big deal this week was tough this week was really tough and if you trade it well good for you um i look to trade it going forward i did take some trades i didn't take any gme um i didn't take any amc today started my day with fubo lost on a trade looking at momentum on that one that failed and Tesla and PLTR was a stupid trade as well. Um, I got a nice trade on BNGO, but what I did was today as I traded smaller. Um, you know, I was up yesterday, but I traded smaller today. And when I lost on a couple trades, I said to myself, let's stay small. Of course, the three trades in a row, BNGO, IPOE, and a Tilray trade were all great had I been with bigger share size would have had a really good day so it's always those scenarios where you kind of slow it down and then it works then you pick it up and then it doesn't work but um, I controlled my risk today because of the week we've been having and seeing uh, I'm definitely seeing some weird stuff on the tape had to slow down the trade station this morning that picked up pretty quick wasn't as bad as yesterday and the good news is my PC has not crashed today. I messed around with the memory again. I think I'm in the different slots all together, and hopefully it continues to work. Um, I did not run my recording all day, so I didn't record any of my trades, and I won't be able to see what happened. Um, but then again, you know, we'll just move to the weekend. I plan on working on my PC. I got all the parts, except for the case, of course, the most important part. Not the most expensive part, but the most important part to bring it together. Uh, but I have the motherboard, chipset, um, memory, hard drive, not hard drive, but M2 drive, uh, power, cooler, windows, you name it. So pretty cool to put it together. Hopefully I can figure it all out. I think there's enough videos out there to make sure I plug everything in at the right spots. Um, clean, clean management, cable management, and um, some RGB, nothing too crazy. Um, you know, get some lights in there, but I don't have my computer on top of my desk. I'm not one of those. I have it actually under my desk. Actually, I hope it keeps me warm. It's freezing in my office. Um, so that pretty much sums up the Friday. Overall, the month was great. Uh, one of my better months. Um, this week was just kind of choppy, and I'm okay walking out with a green week. Down day today, but nah, no big deal. Um, we'll continue fighting next week, and hopefully. You know, we get a little bit back to normal. I think, you know, people might like this style of trading. But to be honest with you, we got to get back to those nice moves. Um, and hopefully there's liquidity. Hopefully there's li- liquidity is out there. 
Um, I know Trade Station. That's the good news. So the good news is like you got these Robin Hood and Weeble and these guys are really the ones that are really affected here. Um, other big companies aren't nearly as affected by all this. So I think everything kind of continues to move forward. Um, you know, Trade Station never put out anything, never said one thing about they just reduced the margin requirements, which is normal. Uh, we've all seen that. You know, anytime a stock is moving like it is, they'll take margin requirements away and you can trade in cash. Um, which is fine. You know, if it's your cash, you're going to settle it yourself. If you lose a thousand bucks, you're going to lose a thousand bucks. Um, but they're going to reduce margin on that, which is fine. But anyway, um, you know, going forward into February, short month, I hope to have the PC built by the end of the week. Um, first week of February, I hope to see some good trades. I'm going to do some class work, going to um, really focus on the same process as a process I've been doing. Uh, it's been really working well and like going to continue doing it. Actually, the strategy I've been working on, um, the automation strategy, I haven't really been using this week because it's been so choppy and it's more of a bullish type strategy. It doesn't really work in a chop market. I mean, I could set it to short, which I might do if we turn into a bear market, but I don't short, so <laughs> I don't feel like doing it right, right now. Anyway, let me know how you guys are doing, how your trading's going on. Um, stay safe out there, right? You know, we got a lot going on and the markets are something that's brought a lot of people together, but it creates a lot of anger, a lot of situations. If you I tune out the freaking noise, man, that Twitter stuff, it's, you know, it's just brutal. I mean, there's stuff on YouTube, but you can avoid YouTube pretty quick. But Twitter, you just follow a few people. Next thing you know, you're just inundated with like, ugh. So tune it out. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll be back on Monday. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll talk to you soon.